Thank you very much, Dr. Fairman, Dr. Katz, and Dr. Beath for the invitation. So uh, first question is, what is SIDAR? SIDAR is uh, 3D fusion imaging for endovascular procedures, but it's different from other 3D fusion imaging because it's cloud-based rather than mechanical. It was FDA approved for the United States in 2016, and we started using it at Duke shortly thereafter. So what's the big deal about being cloud-based? Well, being cloud-based makes this technology, this 3D overlay, technically feasible for remote and glo global coverage, not just for sophisticated hybrid rooms. And it works with any imaging system, not regardless of brand and including C-arms. The workflow is really simple. You upload your CT scan, your preoperative CT scan to the cloud. The CIDAR team will then segment that for you in a period of as quickly, essentially, as you need it, suitable for urgent and emergent cases. And then when you step on the fluoro pedal in your fluoro suite, the image, uh, the, the 3D image appears on this medical grade PC as an automated overlay. And again, as I mentioned, this is cloud-based, so rather than using a mechanical source such, such as a table for the registration, um, the technology searches for vertebral bodies and registers the anatomy that way, so it's much more accurate. Now, there are two main sources of error with 3D overlays. These are the first of these is registration errors, where the preoperative anatomy is shown in the wrong position. Fairly simple to correct this by panning and rotating the image. But the more challenging type of error is deformation error. And this, in, in this situation, the preoperative pre anatomy has straightened, it's relatively predictable, caused by wires and devices that are introduced into the aorta, and this can't be corrected by panning and rotation. And this will be the topic of uh, the next the video that I'm about to show you. So here you can see, um, on the left side of the screen, you can see how the anatomy has deformed with the device being introduced. And then what you can do is grab the image, the reconstructed image on any of these points depicted by the dots, and you can move it north, south, east, and west, and you can rotate it. And you can grab each dot selectively and move a portion of that image as you choose. And this is driven by uh, artificial intelligence so that billions of data points have been used to create this technology so that it's accurate and the aorta understands how the rest of the aorta will move. You can then accept that and the new overlay will appear and you can toggle back and forth between the new overlay and the original overlay should you choose. Of course, one of the most important goals of 3D fusion imaging is reduction in radiation exposure. And two years ago, Tara Mastracci at the VAM presented her experience in a small group of patients who uh, were treated using CIDAR technology versus a retrospective cohort of patients. And what they found was significant reduction in radiation dose expressed as air kerma. And we actually examined our data at Duke and confirmed these findings. So this is the demographic uh, portfolio of our patients. Overall, 120 EVAR and FIVAR patients, two-thirds were from a retrospective database, pre-SIDAR, and then a prospectively created database uh, that we uh, started after we began to use SIDAR. And again, the demographics, pretty typical for uh, AAA patients and the acuity of the case is pretty typical for AAA patients. There were no statistically significant differences among these demographic and acuity data. When we looked at EVAR patients alone, we found a statistically significant reduction in procedure time, post-operative creatinine, and 30-day creatinine, and there were some trends uh, at other improved outcomes, including radiation dose, fluoro time, contrast volume, endo leak, length of stay, and 30-day mortality. Similarly, with FIVAR, we saw quite, uh, quite the same results, statistically significant reduction in procedure time and trends toward the other um, uh, outcomes being improved. Similarly, if we grouped all patients together, we saw statistically significant improvement in procedure time, post-operative creatinine, and 30-day creatinine. 
So in summary, our preliminary data shows that CIDAR is associated with statistically significant reduction in procedure time and potential for even increased OR case volume and revenue, though the practicality of this I think could be debated. Lower radiation dose, potential for lower contrast volumes, improvement in clinical outcomes, and uh, we'll know more as we continue to accrue data. Thank you.